one billion dollar lawsuit filed against Johns Hopkins. Good evening, everyone. I'm Donna Hamilton. And I'm Stan Stovall. The lawsuit seeks to hold the institution responsible for its alleged role in medical experiments on humans dating back to the 1940s and 1950s that infected hundreds of people with sexually transmitted diseases. 11 News reporter George Lettuce is live in North Baltimore tonight with more details. George. Stan and Donna, many of those people died from complications from those diseases. Others are still alive. They are seeking punitive damages from secret research experiments that Hopkins says it is not responsible for. The most deceitful, despicable experiments that could ever have been conducted on human beings. Paul Beckman is one of the attorneys representing 774 victims and their families who, in a $1 billion lawsuit filed today against Johns Hopkins Hospital and University, claim a group of Hopkins doctors were the masterminds behind secret U.S. government funded medical experiments on humans back in the 1940s and 50s. As part of the studies meant to see if penicillin could cure sexually transmitted diseases, Hundreds of children, psychiatric patients, and prison inmates in Guatemala were infected with syphilis and gonorrhea without their knowledge, and many were never treated. What they wanted to do was to continue their experiments outside of the United States where nobody would know about it. Johns Hopkins says this was not a Hopkins study, but one the U.S. government ran. Johns Hopkins had no role in connection with the Guatemala research. Hopkins' lead attorney in this case, Bob Mathias, says those doctors employed by Hopkins simply served on a federal research panel that approved spending for government medical experiments. So you're saying that the doctors who were on these panels who approved the federal spending of this study did not know the scope of those experiments? There's no evidence that I've seen that sets forth the scope of what was going to happen down in Guatemala. We have documents. Uh, which we have and which we have produced, which clearly show not only did they know about it, but they kept it quiet. Should present day Hopkins be held liable for alleged actions decades ago? I think it's an attempt by plaintiff's lawyers to exploit an historical situation for their own monetary gain. What about accountability? What about responsibility for conducting experiments that even at the time under anybody's thought, should never have been conducted. And in 2012, a federal judge threw out a lawsuit filed by some of the Guatemalan victims. The judge said their complaints were better served to be handled by the political branches of the U.S. government and not the court system. We're live at Johns Hopkins University, George Lettuce, WBAL-TV 11 News.